The family expressed gratitude towards help given during the repatriation exercise for the late Tyson to be brought back to PNG, even though there was no direct financial help from the government. I will try my best to help my country. I will try my best to help my country. I will try my best to help my country. I will try my best to help my country. I will try my best to help my country. I will try my best to help my country. Minister is working more long and long working a diplomatic note long kissing body come long a country. The Kularas were able to pull through financially with contributions from the Enga provincial government, along with family and friends, both in Enga and Port Mosby, as well as a community of PNG students studying in China, mostly friends who were studying together with the late Tyson, contributing 10,000 yuan, equivalent to 5,000 in PNG Kina. The entire repatriation exercise in China alone cost between 200 to 300,000 kina. This is excluding what was spent in the last month while trying to get in touch with the Department of Foreign Affairs and the Chinese Embassy in Port Mosby. The family, however, still remains dissatisfied with how the entire process was handled and the protocols lacking on how to deal with situations such as this. Even reports on circumstances surrounding his death remains inconclusive at this stage. Uh, we came to grips with this reality, and so I think PNG government has learned a lesson. Chinese em uh, PNG embassy in China has learned a lesson because of Tyson, and I think they should draw up the protocols on how to handle such situations. Those of us who have been in Mosby and elsewhere in uh, Pogora and Enga, they, they welcome the news. And we are very happy that the body has finally arrived after almost, I think almost uh, four months, I think, uh, four weeks, four weeks of uh, waiting for the body. The body has arrived, and we are quite pleased. The body of the late Tyson is currently at the funeral home for family in Port Mosby to pay their last respects before it begins the final leg of its journey to his home province to be laid to rest. Annette Cora, National MTV News.